numbers ain't everything though you're going off impact i'm going off just the vibes man and what the people saying the vibes <laughs> you know what i'm saying the energy you know what i mean nobody ain't really checking for that unless it's like some controversial guests up there you know what i mean Hmm. Let's just be honest. I mean, salute. I don't them. know. Salute, don't know to, salute to them niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Like, you know what I mean? I'm I don't just... see nobody running around talking about, you know what I mean, that club. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas don't, even go, like, niggas don't even go to the whatever club. Whatever Maul say now, I'm on his side. More. Yeah, niggas don't even go to the club. So Charlotte, man. I'm uh, man, gonna I fuck about a with, fact. I'm rolling ball, man. Sorry. Yeah. That's it. Sorry, bro. No, no I didn't want to. I wasn't trying to, but I mean, you backed me in the corner. And I'm still that type. Loyal. <laughs> and, and don't get it twisted. I fuck with Charlemagne. You know what I'm saying? Like I think he's, you know, a very important figure in this media game. But you know, I'm just, I'm just expressing my opinions. All right, well, check this out, Charlemagne. I'm getting you to fuck out the paint a little later in this podcast, uh, nigga. Not for your Breakfast Club shit. I think you guys are doing amazing. You guys are great. But you getting to fuck out the paint a little later in this podcast. All right, Mr. Teleferro TV. Again, this is a conversation that we had on my platform yesterday. Maul has since responded. Um, I, Maul is saying that it's over for Charlemagne and the Breakfast Club, and I only want to have this conversation because I think it's good content. I don't know how can someone say it's over for the number one by far urban radio show. They're in more markets by far. Like I don't get like okay. So let's take out the numbers then. Let let's do a, a, well. Let's get rid of the numbers because somebody checked me for that yesterday. It was like no, let's not do numbers. Let's do pool. Let's do pool. Does Charlemagne, Envy, and Angelique, when some content happens, do they still command the culture? Does the Breakfast Club still command the culture? Maul says, look, people are talking about the Joe Budden podcast. I agree with Maul. Yes, people are talking about Joe Budden podcast. It's my favorite podcast. But we are not in a podcast war. If you're trying to say your podcast is better than Brilliant Idiots, for sure, I'm with you 100%. You're dominating them in numbers. But when we're talking about the Breakfast Club, yo, I, I again, I, we you got to understand, their worst interview is still doing four or 500,000 views. I think we take for granted about that. Their worst interview is doing four or 500,000 uh, views. Like the goal in a lot of artists' careers and, and actors' and entertainers' careers is to get to the Breakfast Club. Like, they're still bringing in the top-notch Dave Chappelle-type interviews that we didn't think would happen. Like, yo, I'm just saying, they're, the bottom is four or 500,000 views, what they're going to do. It's probably going to be higher than that on every interview. How can they be out of here? I just find that hard to believe. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. And like I said, we're having a podcast war between Brilliant Is and Joe Button Podcast, not even close. The Joe Button Podcast, from a number standpoint, is dominating the charts. And, and the, I just think the content is better as well. But Breakfast Club, let's make it clear. Like, from a content standpoint, I, I just think we can't take for granted what they do every day in the interviews they're able to pull in. That's just my opinion. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. Please subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. What y'all think? Maul got a point? What y'all checking for from a content standpoint outside of Telefair? Because I know y'all rocking. All right? I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!